Well, hi everyone. I'm Joe Rethlund, and this is my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Tiger Hattori Retirement Show. But before I get into that, I do want to mention about the next three events New Japan is putting on. The two Road 2 shows and the Manabu Nakanishi Retirement Event. I'm going to be very busy working for the next week straight. So, I'm going to take the two uh, Road 2 events and combine them into one review, and that will be up Friday evening, more likely. And then the Nakanishi Retirement Event will be up Saturday evening. So I will provide the content for you guys, but just bear with me. Be a little patient. As, you know, work is important. That paycheck's important. So I have to make those adjustments when needed. And uh, when the New Japan Cup field is announced, I will be doing a predictions video, bracketology, and all that. So look forward to that. But anyway, as for this show, obviously the sole focus was Tiger Hattori's retirement ceremony. But there was a card there, and it was a six-match card in there were some nice little teases for the Road 2 shows and maybe even some matches we can get in the New Japan Cup once the field is announced. There was some good stuff in this overall. Um, nice video package with clips of uh, some of Tiger Hattori's greatest moments. Nice interview piece uh, with him, interview pieces. Um, very moving. You could tell that uh, being you know involved in wrestling for so many goddamn years, over half of his life, has really meant a lot to him. And he has helped influence many. Um, many upon many, not just in Japan, but all over the world. Kevin Kelly, Chris Charlton on commentary. Kevin Kelly actually mentioned that if it wasn't for uh, Tiger, he would not be there in New Japan. When they needed an English commentator, Tiger you know, knew that Kevin Kelly would be the guy. And bless Tiger Hattori for doing that. He did us all a favor. He did Kevin Kelly a favor. Kevin Kelly is a great commentator for New Japan. And it's, it's, just, it's just great how many you know, people he has touched. The matches almost took a backdrop, though none of the matches were bad. Just a lot. It was like basically a house show with the retirement ceremony being the main event. Yeah, Gabriel Kidd, Yotsuji, and Yuya Yamura versus Toa Hanare, Togi Makabe, and Hanma. And I always screw up Hanma's first name, so that's why I always say Hanma. Um, some good strikes and chops. Uh, Yuya keeps changing his hair. I'm a little bit. I, I I can't quite recognize him at first. I go, oh, that is Yuya because he keeps changing it. Um. Good exchanges and everything, but in the end, Toa Bottom pins Kid 1, 2, 3. And the brawl continues. All these guys are getting in on the action and everything. Put Hanari in the New Japan Cup field, by the way. Give him two wins. Seriously, I, give him a chance. I mean, I'm not saying push the guy to the goddamn moon right now, but he's put in the work for the last few years. I'm going to keep, uh, you know, saying that. Put him in the New Japan Cup tournament. Put him in the G1 tournament, even if he only gets a couple victories in the G1 later this year. At least you're putting some faith in him. Reward people for, you know, uh, their hard work. And he's a young enough guy, they can utilize him pretty well. <laughs> so, we get Takuchi, Rocky Romero, and Tiger Mask versus Will Ospreay, Sho, and Yo. Um, and then Rocky and Taguchi doing the whole thing where, you know, they're trying to, you know, shoot the hoops. You know, the ball is good, and he accidentally hits Taguchi in the face. I mean, barely. And then Taguchi does, takes a bump and does that. That was pretty funny before the match. Will Ospreay beat Zack Sabre Jr. for the Red Pro British Heavyweight Championship on February 14th. That is why he was sporting that championship. Um, he's moved up to heavyweight, which, um, shout out to Annette Reed, uh, 24-7. That means Suzuki is going to beat him up in. I know you're going to like it, and I think we're all going to like it. Maybe Suzuki will knock some sense into Will Ospreay, because great wrestler, Twitter game, and maybe some mindset. Maybe he needs to, you know, work on some of that. But anyway, that's for the future. Preview for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match uh, with Taguchi and Rocky challenging Sho and Yo. And quick start, a bunch of inside cradles which I, with, I believe, Yo and Taguchi. That was pretty cool. Some good comedy. From, Taguchi can do comedy pretty well without laying it bog everything down. Though I do think sometimes he relies a little too heavily on it, as good of a wrestler as he is. Um, and, you know, after some good exchanges, Stormbreaker pins Tiger Mask 1, 2, 3. And then we get Bushi, Hiromu, and Evil versus Juice, Finley, and Yoshihashi. LIJ attacking early. We get some heavy chops, you know, from, ver uh, from various people. Not like Hiromu and Dragon Lee. Some say they're still chopping each other to this day. Sweet Christ, that was ridiculous. Um, after Left Hand of God and the stunner from, uh, from Finley, we get, uh, well, Left Hand of God from Juice, stunner from Finley, we get the Pulp Friction pinning Bushi. Wow, Bushi took the pin, not Yoshihashi. I'm surprised. So, cool, we get that. We get Suzuki. El Desperado, Kanemaru, and Taichi versus Yuji Nagata, Tenzan, Kojima, and Manamu Nakanishi. Uh, El Desperado is the youngest one out of all these guys, and Nakanishi is retiring uh, on Saturday. So, what a way to go out by battling Suzuki. Christ, 
Yeah, I mean, if he wasn't retiring, he might want to consider retiring after that. Nakanishi's a tough guy, but you got Minoru Suzuki, who just, it's like hitting a wall. Seriously, uh, referee distraction because Red Shoes got distracted, so we get a chair being utilized at points, and then we get Suzuki and Nagata battling, and everybody gets in here, and then the uh, the Kojima Lariat, one, two, three, pins Kanemaru, and there we go. Okay. So, you know, we got that match out of the way, and Nakanishi getting a, you know, bit of a send-off there from the Cork and crowd, which was not, I mean, you know, obviously his retirement ceremony, again, will be taking place later, but it's nice that he's getting this chance with all the years that he has put into New Japan to still uh, be featured. He knows it's time for him to retire, and it's good, and the fans paying him respect, so that was very good. Now, the final two matches were the were refereed by Tiger Hattori. We get Colt Cabana, Toru Yano, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Kota Ibushi versus Gorillas of Destiny, Bad Luck Folly, and Jay White. And it was hype for the IWGP Tag Team Championship match, which is going to be Tanahashi and Ibushi versus G.O.D. And, of course, you get typical heel work from Bullet Club and everything, you know, a lot of wear down and stuff like that, focusing on Ibushi and then Tanahashi and some... We get some comedy from Colt and Yano and, you know, even involving Bad Luck Folly. And eventually, uh, Referee gets distracted, so we get the elbow to, um, you know, the Colt Cabana elbow to Folly. And then we get a low blow and a backslide. Yano pins Folly. There we go. And then Hattori, um, Tiger Hattori actually low blows Gato and then Chato, and that was pretty funny. That was, that was some pretty funny stuff. So, you know, uh, Tiger getting a lot of love tonight, as you would expect. And then we get Goto, Ishii, and Okada versus Sonata, Shingo, and Naito. Okada and Naito had a bit of a scrap, you know, calling back to Wrestle Kingdom and obviously planning for the future. These two are destined to fight forever. Speaking of fighting forever, Shingo and Ishii probably are fighting to, um, you know, to tomorrow's event. Because, sweet, I think that's tomorrow's event. Um, I, I know the Road 2 shows have, like, you know, t like had previews for some of the matches, but some of the cards are playing together. So apologies for forgetting that, but they're fighting and... Good God, that's going to be a goddamn war in Cork and Hall, because all these events are in Cork and Hall, which is great. And it's the only venue that you should have had Tiger Hattori's retirement in. Yeah, you could have done it in a bigger crowd, but there's so much lore with uh, Cork and Hall. Match is typical. Some heavy clotheslines, um, you know, especially one from Shingo to Ishii, which I thought took uh, Ishii's head off. Everyone in here in a bridging pin from Sonata Pins go to one, two, three, and there we go. That, that's the end of that, and then we get the Tiger Hattori retirement ceremony. I'm not even going to attempt to translate all this stuff. I, I, I promise you, if you watch it, it'll be very moving. Hattori does kind of do the LIJ fist bump, but because they're all much taller than him, he can't quite do it, and he kind of does it, and it's pretty cool. And then um, Chaos comes out. All these people come out. Uh, Hattori pins Okada. You, you can tell it meant a lot to Okada. He was very emotional, as were many in the crowd as was the commentary team, um, Liger, Shibata, so many goddamn talents out there, too many to list, I would have had to have filled out an entire goddamn list there, they get a signed ref shirt, uh, Harold Main, uh, Main, I think is how you say his name, and so many others, and then you start getting the legends coming out, great. Kabuki shows up, great, it was, it was great there, all these people from uh, Tiger Hattori's past, and how many people he has helped influence, you get Tiger Hattori, Hiroshi Hase, uh, great Muda, Ricky Choshu, Ricky Choshu of all people. That is great shit. This was good stuff. And then we get uh, video packages or vi video uh, messages from Tenru and Antonio Inoki. And it was great stuff. Tiger then thanks everybody. And, you know, they get they do the 10 bell salute. And then they toss him up in the air and everything safely because he is, you know, in his 70s. And all this, and he just, he falls on Okada, gets another pin on him. And it's just, it's just a great retirement ceremony. It's really good stuff. This is an easily digestible card. Um, Tiger, you could tell it meant a lot to him. I'm sure that he didn't, that he, you know, uh, is going to miss it, as you would expect. But he's obviously going to still be working with New Japan, but he's going to be spending more time with his family. Uh, commentary mentioned, Kevin Kelly mentioned that, you know, since he became a grandfather, uh, Tiger, not uh, Kevin Kelly, even though Kevin Kelly could be grandfather, I don't know. Uh, the Tiger realized family is more important than he put so many years and he wanted to retire. So this is good stuff. Overall, I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not even going to grade the show because honestly, it's it's a retirement show. It was built around Tiger Hattori's retirement. Um, it was a good show. Watch it. Enjoy it. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Twitter handle in the description. I'm John Rethlin. I'll see you soon.